I'm Linda, I'm from Slow Happiness Collective and I'm here to give you some tips if you're struggling to stay happy while you stay at home during the corona crisis. Rainbows are all around us at the moment and so I've adopted the rainbow as our rainbow of well-being. The five ways of well-being, which you can Google and get loads of great advice on how to adapt them into your daily life, um, are supported by the basics, which are getting enough sleep, eating well and staying hydrated. The three ways of well-being that I thought I'd focus on are the top three, which are take notice, learn and give. So starting with notice. Take the time to notice how you're feeling and what your thoughts are. Now you might be feeling sad or worried or frustrated or angry and that's perfectly normal. Millions of people are feeling like you are. This is a really hard challenge for the world and it's particularly hard for some of us. But also notice what makes you feel better. Are there times of the day you feel better? Are there little things that you do that make you feel better? And equally, are there things that make you feel worse? For me, it's listening to too much news, so I just don't do it. So once you've taken notice, here's a chance to learn and accept. The first thing to accept is that this is a major global crisis and you can't change it. But it's also, also okay to feel not okay. And if you could accept that, can you avoid the pressure that everyone's saying, oh, this is time to reinvent yourself, this is time to do all the things that you've always wanted to do? Well, if that works for you, great, but if it doesn't, that's okay too. You're great just as you are. You matter, you are loved, and you are enough just as you are. Um, but one thing to think about is that although every day can't be great at the moment, you could find some good in every day. And it might be listening to birdsong, away from a neighbour, or just knowing that you're one day closer to the end of this. And that's the thing to remember, this will end. You've been through challenges before and you do have the resilience. So finally, giving. It's proven that giving is good for you. And if you are staying home, if you are social distancing, then you're protecting the NHS and staying, saving lives. So you are giving. And so you should give yourself the recognition for that. So give yourself a clap. It will um, increase your blood circulation and give you well-being through your pressure points on your hands. And why not take it further and sing? Sing your heart out sing your emotions actually this will improve your lung function and improve your well-being you could even dance and that could just be dancing sitting in the sitting in the chair but it is really hard to be down if you're being silly so have a happy dance look for some laughter there's comedy shows all over the place on the tv on the internet you can even ask google to tell you a joke it might be like a christmas cracker but it will make you smile and finally, you can give yourself a hug because the science of self-compassion has proven that you can soothe yourself, you can make yourself feel better. So give yourself a hug, you deserve it. So to wrap up, be gentle with yourself. You're doing the best you can. Stay safe, stay happy, stay you.